There are some beets. And there is a wild tomato and it has a flower on it. There are some more beets. Even more beets. And more beets. And here are the pole beans. Some of them are up probably over 10 feet high now. And they're even producing little beans. There the little pole bean is. And the carrots are coming along. And the bush beans. And later in the day I will be harvesting them. Plants are pretty nice and they haven't been eaten yet. And there is the catch of the day for the beans today. It has almost filled up a gallon bowl. And this is an unscheduled potato area. And it actually looks better than the scheduled potato areas. And this is another unscheduled area and the plants are dying, so the harvest will begin in a few minutes. Well, actually, it'll begin after I freeze the beans. This is the auxiliary potato area. It's got a little more up than I'd like it to. And here is the tomato area. You can see that lots of tomatoes are forming. The squash plants have essentially gone nuts. This is the main potato area. As you can see, a varmint is like them. It's dying, so I will have to be harvesting it soon. And this is the transplanted asparagus area. Doesn't look to be doing real good. And here are the cucumbers hiding in the shade of the tomatoes. And that's actually a cucumber. And there is a little squash forming. It's about the size of two golf balls. And there is another little squash forming. It's the size of about a golf ball. And here are some blackberry bushes. It looks like we're going to have a very abundant year for blackberries. And there is the catch of the day with regards to the raspberries. And here is the catch of the day with regards to the potatoes. They are mostly Yukon Golds and Russets.